Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in this video, I would like to explain to you the four building blocks of Microsoft Loop. Now, I have already devoted a number of videos and articles on my blog uh, to Microsoft Loop, but essentially it's a relatively new application we now have. It's part of Microsoft uh, 365 uh, uh, ecosystem. Uh, and it uh, Microsoft Loop essentially allows organizations to easily um, you know, collaborate, share notes, ideas, uh, manage projects, uh, on, all in real time. Um, now, what I would like to do in this particular video is explain to you the anatomy, the structure of Microsoft uh, Loop in greater detail. Uh, there are four major, uh, I guess, uh, elements of building blocks that we have in Microsoft Loop. Uh, the first one is uh, workspace. Uh, the second one is page. The third one is uh, an app or an element. And the fourth one is a loop component. Uh, so let me spend a few minutes on each so I can explain to you what um, um, each of this building blocks is all about and uh, how they are all related. Uh, I'm probably, you know, not going to start with workspaces. It probably makes sense to start with workspaces, but I will start uh, with another, um, with another um, kind of a building block, uh, something called a page. Uh, a page is essentially, you know, obviously one of the building uh, blocks of uh, Microsoft Loop. And let me just, you know, create a new page here. Uh, but this is where ultimately you capture content, all right? So a page uh, is essentially, think of it as a canvas where you uh, pretty much capture any content you have. It could be text, it could be, uh, you know, images uh, and so on. And the best part uh, about the loop page is that in addition to most common, you know, types of content, you can add like text, images, you know, videos, you can add uh, something called a loop components. Now, this is where I actually um, kind of have difference of opinion with others um, uh, when they talk about Microsoft loop. Uh, let me explain to you uh, what I mean. So if you, uh, press the, you know, forward slash button or, you know, the, the plus button, you will see a list, um, you know, of stuff. And um, if you, again, watch some other maybe uh, videos out there, or read some articles, uh, a, a lot of folks call this loop components. And it's kind of, kind of correct. But the truth of the matter is, um, uh, when you add all of this stuff to your page, these are not loop components just yet. These are what I call, I personally define them as just, you know, different uh, uh, loop elements or loop applications. For example, uh, let me explain to you what I mean. Uh, let me see, let me add a task list, right? Um, you have all these different uh, elements out there. This is a task list. And this is, of course, um, you know, a, a module uh, where you would, uh, you know, manage, you know, tasks uh, and uh, essentially uh, assign them to each other and uh, so on. Uh, but I added this element to the page, but this is not a component yet, not until I make it a component. So you see, I highlighted it all. And if you click on this, nine, uh, I'm sorry, six dots uh, over here, it gives me a choice to make it a loop component. What is the difference between uh, a loop component or this element and loop component? Loop component is something you can uh, co-author, you can collaborate on in real time. So at this point, at this point, once I'm building my page and add all of this, uh, you know, elements, whatever they are, uh, none of this stuff I'm adding is uh, ready for, you know, uh, prime time, is ready for uh, real time uh, collaboration. In order for, for me to uh, co author um, uh, essentially uh, on this table, for example, on this task list, I need to convert this this element to a loop component. Hopefully that makes sense. So um, 
again, you know, just to kind of summarize, we have a page that's where you add content. That's kind of uh, uh, building block number one. We have the, um, you know, the the elements or the apps, whatever you want to call them. That's a building block number two. And only when I convert this to a loop component, you see, I said, you know, convert this task list to a loop component. Only at that point of time, you see it got that little border around it. It became uh, a loop component. So that element that I added became a loop component. And that's the building uh, block number three. So only at that point of time, I can copy it. And, you know, perhaps I want to collaborate with others uh, in my, uh, let's just, I guess, discard this message I have in here. Uh, only at this point of time, I can embed that loop component for real-time collaboration and teams or, uh, you know, Outlook and so on. So hopefully, hopefully that uh, makes sense. So, uh, by the way, by the way, you can convert not just you know, a particular element to loop component, I can also convert a page to loop component. All right, so if I want this entire page, let's pretend I have images and text and videos and, um, you know, all this other elements and I want the entire page um, to be a loop component so I can, you know, collaborate and co-author, I can do that too, all right? So, so far, um, hope you're following me here. So far, we covered a total of three building blocks of um, essentially of Microsoft Loop. Uh, the first one is the page, the canvas, where you can add content. The second one is the you know other different elements uh, you can add, um, and you typically can do so by clicking the forward slash or the plus button. All of these elements. So that's bu this uh, building block number two. Uh, then building block number three would be the component. That's essentially what uh, an element becomes after you convert it to, um, um, you know, uh, to, to component. And now we have the fourth and final building block, um, something called workspace. So workspace is actually where we started this, um, you know, video. Workspace is a nothing more than a collection of pages, all right? So you see the pages you create in Microsoft Loop, you know, just like SharePoint pages that reside on a site in SharePoint, uh, the Loop pages uh, are organized into workspaces. So when you start something new in uh, Microsoft, Microsoft Loop, you typically, typically create a new workspace, all right? And inside of that workspace, you create your pages, and then on pages, you create elements and convert them to uh, components, loop components. Hopefully, kind of that hierarchy makes uh, sense. And why would you want uh, to create uh, essentially uh, different workspaces? Uh, essentially, security would be uh, probably the biggest reason. First of all, it's a nice way for you to uh, kind of organize, obviously, all the pages you have by different, you know, subjects and, you know, projects and so on. Uh, but it's also security, all right? So typically, again, you might have maybe a um, different membership for different project workspaces or department workspaces and uh, so on. So that's essentially what I wanted to explain to you in this um, uh, particular video. Hopefully it all makes sense. Uh, just to kind of summarize quickly again, we have a total of four uh, loop building blocks. We have the workspace, we have the page, we have uh, the uh, loop elements, those little apps you can add to your page. And then finally we have loop component, it's pretty much something that uh, you can convert to uh, if you want to co-author and, you know, collaborate in real time with others. Uh, all right. Uh, so once again, thank you very much um, for watching this uh, video. Hopefully you learned uh, something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com uh, and my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.